what's up dragon brood so today i'm going back and doing something i haven't done in a while i know if you've watched my channel and you go through i have some playlists with some other things occasionally i just like to do reviews of things that i think could help you out maybe help you make extra money save some money whatever but still kind of sort of related to things you would normally be doing and in this case i decided to check out wish.com right there's they have so much stuff on that website and honestly, is it any good? We know it's coming from China. We know it's possibly, who knows, counterfeit or cheaply made. And I just wanted to find out firsthand. So I ordered some things and y'all get to see at my expense if stuff's good or not. So let's take a look. But before we get in that first item, remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell because that definitely helps me out. Okay. We're going to get into this first item here. So like I said, Wish actually has a ton of stuff, but this is one. And I was not sure how this one was going to work out. But this is actually pretty well represented what's on the site. So this, for those you don't know, is a big mat for your keyboard. Um, anything you put on your computer desk. But it's actually quite large. Uh, it does meet the requirements they were saying. You can get them in different sizes on the website. Uh, if you're looking here, let you, I mean, the color choices aren't much. They're all variations of black. And this actually says, you know, you can get it. You have to check centimeters, obviously, or millimeters in this case. But yeah, it came in great. It works. I already tested it. It lights up. Uh, I'll be putting it on my desk here in the next couple of days. So I'm really excited about this one. I think it's very cool and it's actually really sturdy. I mean, if you play Magic the Gathering or any of the other games that have play mats, this is like even slightly, uh, I almost, yeah, maybe slightly thicker than that material. And has an LED ring that runs around the outside. For $11 was great. I think the additional shipping was only like three or four more bucks. I don't know how they do shipping so cheaply, but yeah, I mean, sure, you pay shipping that's like half the cost of the item, but who cares? You're under 20 bucks. For a really cool item so this one gets a thumbs up for sure now this next one is a little bit of a weird item y'all are probably looking at this and going like what is this it's a camera stabilizer or some people may refer to them as gimbals but this isn't like an official gimbal but it's that style but basically what it is is you mount your camera to the top and it helps you keep your camera stable so that way your picture's not moving around a bunch uh, but this was actually pretty surprising so for those of you don't know i'm gonna kind of back up here so you can see it but basically, you set your camera up here. It has slide mounts. Uh, you, you put where it's necessary. So you can see on the top here, there's a mount that's in here that you screw into. You can also unbolt it and screw directly to the one below it. Uh, it's got weights here at the bottom. So you can add or remove weights or slide them to kind of help your balance once your camera's on there and you can set it. And then it's got this handle that moves every direction, obviously, here. And the idea is if I put a camera on here, I can move it around and the camera image would stay stable or as close to stable as possible with me moving this around. So I have to say, actually, this, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but this is actually metal. This thing's actually pretty good, pretty weighty, uh, much cheaper than I found anywhere else. The shipping and all was actually a pretty good value on this one. And I, I was surprised, like this is actually good. Uh, so yeah, this another one gets gets a thumbs up. I'm very impressed with this Okay, so this next item has like a weird scenario because I ordered them they came in I Sent a report saying they were basically counterfeit not what the company was promoting at all And I was gonna use a link to show you all what it was, but apparently the link does no longer work uh, Which no big deal. They gave me a refund which has actually been really good about that I get my refund in a couple days not a big deal However, they had some Beats Studio 3 headphones that were refurbished. And truthfully, if, let me, actually, let me bring up a picture of what an actual pair of Beats looks like. Uh, this is, this is close enough. This would, this would be from their website. So let's show that. Uh, now, this is kind of similar to the, to the listing I saw that I ordered these from. But let me tell you, like these, obviously, if you look at the, the ear cups, uh, and the controls on the side like these don't look like beats they have the right logo and everything but these are not studio three beats now that being said 
I wanted to say they were going to be really bad, but I got to be honest, I used them and they were actually pretty good. The sound was quality. Uh, they weren't like noise canceling or anything, but they did kind of keep out a majority of the noise. The controls, it would have been nice to have like a volume control on here, but I mean, they paired with the Bluetooth easy. Uh, I could skip, move forward with just like the buttons. I could mute it with no problem. So, and, and they fit okay. I mean, the, I used them for yard work and they didn't fall off for the whole like couple hours I was out there. So I don't know, like I, I want to say don't do it. Uh, if you want like the high quality beats, uh, you know, with, with the comfort and everything else that you want, that's what you should buy. But these weren't bad. I mean, like I, I really want to hate these because they weren't what they said they were. So don't buy beats think you're getting beats but if you're okay with some knockoff beats and then i mean like okay let's be honest if you buy if you go down to a local barber shop and you buy bootleg movies or whatever off the dude that comes in while you're getting your haircut cool if you buy stuff out of the trunk of somebody that's down at the local shopping mall cool you'll probably dig these if you don't then don't do it those of you that do know what i'm talking about those of you that don't just buy regular beats i don't know what to tell you Okay, so this next item up for grabs is actually something pretty simple. This is not going to appeal to all geeks. This is very much Magic the Gathering specific here. But if you play anything that needs counters, plus one, plus ones, minus one, minus ones, they sent a full package of dice. Let me see here. Get you a good picture of that here. There you go. And they're actually fine. Nothing special. You know, they're, they're mid-size weight as far as dice go. But uh, you can see clearly... Uh, they have the plus one plus one you know the plus two plus two and on up to six and then these have the minuses on there uh not a lot to really say about these like they're good i'll carry them around in my bag i'll use them for some things uh these will these are good additions and i think the shipping was the same as the item cost i might actually pay it a little more but obviously the deal was good it's sold out on the website right now uh, but there's always people selling multiples of the same item so you can probably find it there now this item sort of bugged me because then when I went through Wish, one of the things I saw is they were taking like random pictures from a bunch of things and just putting them on other items. So there was like people's thumbnails, it looked like, that had been turned into posters. So that was kind of weird. And then obviously images that had never been on these types of products were being put on them anyway. So there was a lot of things. And then there was some stuff even from places I've seen like Star City Games that had some of their original art put on some items there as well which i'm pretty sure that wasn't what i would call approved material so mm, this one made me a little uncomfortable but i figured i would buy it just to see so here it is the quality is fine uh this is pretty much in every way what you would expect it to look like i mean it looks like the image the quality is about the same as you would get for any other playmats. And it's actually stitched around the edge. So if you like stitch playmats. And it's actually a thin stitching. So it still rolls up well. You know here. Because normally when you get stitching it wants to like push out a little bit. You don't really have that issue here. It's a very very. You can you can maybe see it in the. There you go. Yeah you can see it in the picture there. It's a very thin stitch that runs along the line. But, but it's nice. Uh, so again another one that. This I wouldn't necessarily buy though, let me say, because unless you found one on the site that there was a very particular image, because there is a bunch of original art that's on these as well, but the truth is this isn't going to be any cheaper than just going to your local store and buying these. Like after you pay shipping, you're going to be in the like $16 to $18 range anyway, depending on which one you get and where it comes from. And you can just buy these for that at your local store and you're going to be able to get a whole big selection. So just go down, visit your local retailer, buy your playmats there. There's no reason to pick these up off of Wish. Okay, this next one also is a little weird because I bought it and then it took a while to get here and it was sold out. So I'm just going to open this and I'm leaving the description that they had up there. So this was 72 cents uh, with $2 shipping, but they sent me two of them. So I don't know how I feel about it because this was very reminiscent of a Magic the Gathering setup because it had the five colors. You know, they were in Wooburg order. 
So, I mean, they weren't really magic, but it was kind of magic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, probably about as close as they could be without being an official, unofficial item. So that makes it a little weird. But, all right, there we go. Got it all set up. This actually isn't a bad length. Like, if I were to wear it, it's probably fine. But uh, let me see how close I can get and still keep it in focus. It's kind of hard. But... I mean, it doesn't, it's not really the five mana. I mean, it is the, it's the five mana colors, but it's definitely not the mana symbols. Let me see if I can change my focus here so y'all can see that in just a sec. There you go. Uh, so, I mean, it's cool. It's interesting. I mean, I don't know how I feel about it. It's, it's weird. I mean, it's a decent deal. It's a cool, like, pseudo fan thing. I mean, it was $3, you know, to get two of them. So I'll probably just be giving these away on my stream or something. I, I have no use for them. I was just buying them as part of this project. But yeah, it was, I mean, it's a cheap metal with a plasticky glass kind of cover. I don't know. But yeah, it's fine. I, I'm, I'm going to give this a reluctant thumbs up because it was so cheap. But it's also not available on the site anymore, so I don't know what to make of that. Alright, that brings us to our last item for the video. And this was actually a really interesting one, because if you look at this picture, I mean, look how much stuff we have that we're getting. I mean, you're talking about six dice sets, six dice bags, uh, a sticker sheet, a dice tower. Like, it's, it's pretty bananas how much was in this for 18 bucks. And the shipping was $7, so you're talking $25. These die sets generally gonna cost you like five-ish dollars a piece on the low end anyway. So just in dice, you're gonna be ahead on your money. The dice bags are gonna be two to four dollars a piece. Then a dice tower is gonna cost you probably 10 to 20 bucks depending on the brand. And you know, let's be honest, it was pretty good. So here's the dice tower. It wasn't too bad to assemble. I put it together pretty quickly. Like assembly might have been for real like three minutes. It's all cardboard, so you're not getting anything fancy. You know what you're getting into. But, I mean, it holds together pretty well. And again, this was kind of like a bonus item in the package. But if you do want a dice table, or I mean a dice tower for your um, RPG games, this is actually pretty cool. It's not bad at all. And it's, again, $25. But let me show you, like, they have a sticker sheet they send you with a bunch of dragons that I guess you just put all over your dice tower. But I would probably keep it clean because of the look of it and then just put the dragons wherever you want. And then this is all of the dice bags. So this is kind of neat. They're not big, but each one will hold one of the dice sets that you see in here. So, you know, they send them in one big bag. So you will be able to fit a dice set, obviously, cleanly in there. But honestly, look at, look at this. Like, this is actually pretty solid. These are better little embroidery on some dice bags than stuff you generally get so yeah i this gets a, for real a very this might get two thumbs up this is pretty cool uh but yeah i i think that's just a really good item so that one i'm totally cool with i think it's great now there are some things i want to point out whenever you're ordering from wish one of the first is that you're gonna have to wait a long time for your items to get here like even before all the COVID stuff happened, you were probably having to wait like four weeks for stuff to get to in a lot of cases, sometimes three. They do have some stuff that has express shipping, which usually means it's either gonna come faster or it's gonna come from someplace already close to you. It's because they do, I guess, have some outlets in with US vendors or maybe nearby in some other near, nearby country. So stuff does get to you in maybe two weeks. Generally speaking, they'll plan on at least four. And several of these items, especially right now, took up to eight weeks to get to us. So not great if you're looking at any type of gift giving or something. That would be my first big concern. The other is like you saw with like those Beats headphones, like they weren't what they said they were. And yeah, it's easy to get a refund. Wish refunds very quickly, very easily. Their system's easy to use. So you're not really at risk, but there is a disappointment when you think you're gonna get something and it doesn't get here. I'll also say there were some items that I ordered that also didn't arrive. And there's really no way to know until like the arrival date that it's supposed to arrive to you gets here and you haven't seen it. And then you backtrack it 
and it never even left China. So, eh. Now, that being said, the item was super cheap. It's nothing I really needed. It was just something else I was getting because I saw a cheap deal on the site. But that can happen, so there's going to be some inconsistency sometimes. The other part of it, though, is if you look at the items we got, we got a good deal on just about everything. And several of them were better than expected. So, I mean, I don't know what to do with that. Like, should you be ordering from Wish? Sure. The one thing I would say is order things that aren't necessities or things that you can wait on. So if there's an item like, let's say you're going to do a project maybe in the summer and you're ordering in February, you're fine. You'll get the items in and then you'll just have them. And then when you're time for your project, you already own it. But if there's something you're going to need that you want to like schedule some vacation time in two weeks that you're going to work on something around the house or your computer, I probably wouldn't order from them. The other thing I've seen too is as a fair warning, don't order electronic items. You're usually going to get stuff that's very cheap and not the quality you think. And then especially when you're talking about internal computer parts, I've seen too many other videos where people have ordered things and they were actually just labeled incorrectly. So you may be thinking you're getting a two gig hard drive, or I mean two terabyte hard drive, and realistically it's a one terabyte hard drive. Or a one terabyte thumb drive, you find out it's only a 512 uh, gig. So the, it, it's stuff like that that can happen as well. Now I will say Wish seems to be pretty good about going after people and removing them from the site or removing their items from the site after stuff has been reported a few times. So that seems to be good. But there's also brands, like I said, that they were copying stuff from companies I've seen and turning it into items over there that I don't think were actually intended. Now, if those get reported, I'm sure they get removed, but that's a thing too. Be aware that you may not get your items because some of them are actually counterfeit. But yeah, I, overall, let me know what you think about this video. If you like it, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, please, <laughs> and hit the notification bell. I mean, I don't do these type of videos all that often, but if you enjoy them, maybe I should add them to my regular rotation of stuff I do. But anyway, let me know in the comments if this was helpful, if this is something you'd like to see more of, if you thought it was crazy for ordering things I did, whatever. Or even let me just know what your experience are, or has been, when you're ordering from Wish.com. But that's all I have for you today. We'll see you next time.